YouTube viewers and random Doctor Who fans. Oh god, here we go. This is the 720 13th Doctor 5.5 inch collector series figure. Fresh from releasing their version of the Sonic Screwdriver, 720 have turned their hand to the action figure line. So far this remains the only example of an action figure in their Doctor Who range. And it's safe to say that they're not off to a good start. Even Character Options, one of the companies with a severely mixed track record, have managed to create a far superior version to this. But what exactly went wrong with this figure? Well, buckle up everyone, this is going to be less a review and more of a post-mortem. Taking a look at the packaging, it is very basic, yet retains the same graphics and general overall layout as the character options release. However, it features a lot of wasted space, making the actual figure seem smaller than it is. At least, I hope that's the reason why it looks this small. We have this huge card backing with just the Doctor Who logo across it, and a small slip at the bottom featuring some information on the figure and character. The sides are fully exposed, allowing a decent look at the figure from multiple angles, while the back features an image of the other toy available from 720's 13th Doctor range, the Sonic Screwdriver. So that does it for the packaging. Let's open it up and take a look-see at the figure itself. I just... I mean... Where do I even start? This genuinely looks like a knockoff of the character options figure. The face sculpt looks so bland and generic. If it weren't for the hair and the outfit, you'd struggle to know who this is. Even the facial expression is so bland. It's like the figure itself knows somehow how dull it is. The eyebrows, eyes, nose and mouth are quite sharp, but it just lacks any definition to fully make it look like Jodie Whittaker. As for the hair sculpts, again this is very basic, with just a few strands moulded into it and one of the ears with a silver earring can be seen due to the sculpt of the hair being made to look like it's been brushed behind her ear. They've tried adding a dark wash to resemble her roots in the parting of her hair, but this just looks like someone shoved it up there. Uh, anyway, let's move on to the torso. The neck is sculpted quite well, with the collarbones clearly defined, but the paint apps used to resemble her white t-shirt are very rough. She's wearing her long coat, which to be fair looks pretty good. It's been sculpted well with bagging and creases around it to look like the material is hanging from her body. Even the hood at the back looks great. What lets it down though is the paint apps. They've been thickly and roughly applied, and look quite cheap and glossy. They're very untidy too, with paint chipping away from it in some sections, and that was before I'd even got it out of the packaging. The inner lining looks especially weak with the rainbow colours all bleeding together, but I do appreciate that they painted the inner lining of the coat a dark blue. Both arms continue the creasing and wrinkling sculpting of the coat, while the hands have been given moulding of fingers and thumbs. Beneath the coat you can see she is wearing her regular outfit with a blue t-shirt which features the rainbow pattern across it and some braces which have some very washed out paint apps. I do like the wrinkling pattern across the midsection of the torso to represent the t-shirt material though. The legs are covered by trousers which look very plasticky and cheap despite further material sculpting applied and they are also turned up at the bottom revealing her leg as well as some blue socks. The boots have been given some fair detail of laces and some creasing at the tops of the feet as well as a black sole where underneath you can see a peg hole on one foot and some legal blur shumbatarg. Turning to articulation, the figure can do the full 360 degree exorcist style twist at the neck. We get a full 360 joint on the shoulder, a full 360 at the top of the arm, a 90 degree bend on the elbow, and a full 360 on each wrist. The 13th Doctor offers a full 360 degree waist articulation joint, but it is hindered by the thick, rigid plastic of the coat. This also hinders her leg articulation, which can kick out to around 45 degrees, and move out to the sides, but not by much until the coat gets in the way. We get a 90 degree bend on the knee and a full 360 at the top of the boot. So very standard articulation has been included on the figure. As for accessories, the 13th Doctor comes with her trusty old sonic screwdriver. This has been given some great detail in paint apps despite its minuscule size, with the chrome silver body and orange emitter and side sections all represented. The trouble is that when an item is this small, the more detail you add, the messier it looks, and this is no different. The figure can hold the sonic very securely, but much like the character figure, it can't point the sonic, instead leaving display poses limited to just checking her readings. And doing a size comparison, you can see that the scale is way off in comparison to the character toys, despite both claiming to be in the 5.5 inch scale. The 720 version is almost a head shorter than the character figure, and generally looks weird when posed next to other figures in the 5.5 inch scale, putting it, in reality, at about 5 inches in height. 
So overall, what do I think of this figure? Well, it's not bad, but it's not good. Put it this way, I have a whole new appreciation for character options after picking this up. I cannot get past that face sculpt. It's so generic and awkward looking. The entire figure is marred with paint apps issues. It's like someone took one of those old 3.75 inch scale figures from the 1980s and somehow upscaled it to the 5.5 inch range. I collect toys, figures and props as they bring me closer to that franchise I love, which is why detail matters to collectors. I want it to closely resemble the thing that they're supposed to be. Figures like these just feel cheap and lackluster, despite the detail put into the body and the screwdriver accessory. I may have given character grief in recent years, <laughs> that's putting it mildly, but they've never made a figure on this level. I'd say it's okay for young kids to play with, but by no means is this in any way up to a collector standard. It's basic, below average, and frankly, boring. 720 may have beaten character with a sonic screwdriver, but when it comes to the figures, characters still remain unchallenged. Never thought I'd see the day I would end a review by saying that, but here we are, I guess. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this video. And why not be extra awesome like all of these people and support us on Patreon? Links are in the description. Until next time, farewell.